Hello and welcome to this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial on grenades. Um, so I'm going to do a few different projectiles because uh, I really enjoy making them. I'm going to start off with some simple ones but then I might do some crazy stuff like uh, like homing missiles and cluster grenades and things like that. But if anyone's got any ideas of any types of projectiles you want me to create um, then let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll be happy to experiment and try and create anything projectile wise. So this is what we're going to be creating today. It bounces, it's a little bounce sound, and an explosion that deals um, a, an impulse. So any physics related things that are around it will, will, uh, will move. I think it affects us as well, should we have a look? Yeah, so we can grenade jump with this grenade. Um, if you want to follow along exactly with all the uh, the particle effects and sounds that I'm using uh, the sounds aren't great to be honest but um, the particle effects aren't bad um, I'm using this military weapons dark pack from the marketplace it's a free pack and it's got like it's got a few weapons in there and animations for those weapons as well so reloading stuff and loads of sounds particle effects in there um, and it's got all the individual meshes for each bullet as well which is which is quite nice um, so let, yeah let's get into it let's build a grenade. As you can see, I've already built that grenade. But let's build a fresh one. Um, first thing, in the content browser, find that grenade that we're going to be sporting, the, the mesh for it. And in collisions, add a capsule collision to it. It doesn't come with any collision. And we're going to be using that collision to uh, generate hit events. So yeah, just get the grenade. Um, you can use any one of these simple, uh, simple collisions. Um, they all work fine. But for this, all we need is a capsule. That's so, okay, so I've created a little folder for my projectile. It says grenade, and um, we want a blueprint actor. Give it a name. Open that up. So, let's get you out of the way. Want a few things in our component section. We want a static mesh. If we drag this on top of our scene root, it gets rid of the default scene root and the mesh will become the root now. Um, a particle system. Um, the pack I'm using isn't using Niagara particle systems, um, it's using the cascade stuff, but whatever particle you're using, select the relevant one here. So that's going to be spawning like a little smoke trail behind the grenade. Um, we want a radial force. This is going to be moving all physics enabled objects around it when the grenade explodes. And lastly, we need a projectile movement. That's where all the fun bouncy stuff happens. So, projectile movement, uh, if we set the speed to, I think that test one that I just done was 1100. Uh, rotation follows velocity. It's not massively important for a grenade which direction it's tumbling in when you throw it, I suppose, but um, that's more important when it comes to things like rocket launches. It'll make sure the rocket is tr in the uh, same rotation as the direction it travels, so it looks like it's traveling in that direction. Uh, which, that's really good for uh, kind of like homing missiles and things as well. It looks, looks really effective. Um, gravity scale, um, I'm going to knock this down a touch to 0.8 and we'll see, see what that looks like. That will just affect the dip and how fast it dips. Should bounce, we, we do want it to bounce, don't we? Uh, the bounciness, I'm not going to mess with any of this. The default values are pretty good. Um, if you want it to do some extreme things, some crazy stuff, change that bounciness set into something high and it will, uh, it will look ridiculous. And I think that is it for our projectile movement. Um, our static mesh will get that grenade that we've just put a collision around. Particle system, we want that to play the grenade trail. There it is. And compile that. Um, should we see how that looks? See where we're at. So in your content browser, first person, blueprints, and weapon components, go into there and change this spawn actor to the actor you've just created. So grenade one blueprint. 
Right, so let's shoot you. Bounces. Right, that's all good so far. And we've actually done no code, we've just put some components in and set set their variables. So back into our grenade. Um I think you can grab a collision if you want from here. Um, for, for this example, I'm just going to use the collision of the static mesh to generate hit events. So select your static mesh in the top left, scroll down, and uh, on component hit, we're going to want to do something. Um, we want to play a sound. Play sound at location. Um, drag out a static mesh at it and get world location for this. Plug you in. And the sound, I believe that pack we've got has got a uh, grenade bounce sound cue. If you select the sound cue rather than these, these will just play the, the one sound every time. The sound cue. It's got a few different versions of it. It modulates it a little bit so it's not the same bounce every time. So that'll play our bounce sound. Now we want to explode. How should we do that? Uh, on event begin play, I think we can start that explode because grenades technically, um, or typically when, when they leave your hand, uh, once you've pulled that pin, that's when their countdown begins. So I think when we fire it, that's when the countdown begins. Um, so we can connect you to a delay and this delay is going to control how long it takes for that thing to explode. So we'll put it for two seconds. So it's got time to bounce around a little bit. And we're going to spawn emitter at location. And this is going to be our explosion. So I'll type in explosion. And what have we got? Um, grenade explosion. Yeah, we'll go for you. Location, we'll get our mesh again. Get the world location and plug that in. Rotation and scale don't matter unless you want a bigger explosion. Should we, should we do that? Should put two in these. Then our radial force, we want that to go off as well. So I'll grab you and type in impulse. We want to fire an impulse from this. Now with the radial force settings, um, radius, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bump that up to 800. Um, obviously with your project figure out what the uh, the best radius for this explosion force is it's, it's going to be for you um, it's all going to vary impulse strength let's leave it at a thousand see what it does and i'm going to tick this box so this impulse will affect everything in the same way it won't take into account the mass of that object um, so for this example i'm going to tick that but for your project if you've got a few different things that have got different masses maybe you want to take that off because you don't want them all to be flying off at the same rate um, right let's try that oh right a couple of more things we need to do so for one, we didn't destroy the actor when it exploded. It still exists in there. Um, and we haven't got an explosion sound, have we? Let's let's do that. So back into our blueprint. Um, we want to play sound. Play sound at location. And the location is going to be that location again. I won't do that. I'll duplicate it. And let's type in explosion and see what we find. Let's just have that explosion queue. No, we'll have the rocket launcher explosion queue. And I don't think we need to mess with anything else in there. Obviously, if you do have different parameters or attenuations that you're using, you can plug them in. And finally, we need to destroy actor. So that's going to set the timer once this thing is spawned into the world and this does that little bouncy sounding. Let's go and test.
There we have it. If you want it to survive a bit longer and bounce around a bit more, let's put it up to 2.5. <laughs> right, so that's how you make a grenade in Unreal 5. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you've got any suggestions, especially on projectiles, um, for any tutorials that you might want, um, then let me know. Um, I'm going to be releasing a few more tutorials on projectiles in the near future. Um, so, yeah, stick around for them. Thank you. See you soon.